prison broilers for more than six weeks, approximately more than 42 days, is a total waste of resources. It is not profitable. You will lose out in this transaction. So in this video, I want to share with you a practical reason why I made this statement. And the video is starting right now. On the 11th of November, we brought in a, a set of broilers to be raised for the Christmas and New Year market. We had the intentions of bringing in 550, but within the last minute, we changed our mind and had to add extra carton, just one carton, making it 600. We brought the best from ha Saeed Hatchery. The best performed excellently well from day one to the last day that we had in mind. And also, every week they were meeting their weekly weight targets and all that. So by the 22nd of um, December 2022, the best were exactly 42 days. That's six weeks. But since it's Christmas market, from that day, we started selling them off gradually. And then till December 25th on Sunday, we didn't sell off the entire best. We tried our best. They were about 600, but at the end of the day, we were about, uh, able to sell about half of them, about 300. Uh, yeah, about 300 of them. So we still have up to half of them remaining in that penthouse. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is just to show you that raising broilers for more than six weeks is not profitable because many people do this for some reasons. Number one, they say the broiler is not yet matured enough to be eaten. Some people also say that um, the broiler will not have much weight. And then many people have their main reasons for raising broilers for more than six weeks, which is 42 days. But I'm just trying to prove to you in this video that it's not profitable. Because if you are trying to get these broilers to add more weight, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of resources. And I would show you what some of the best are weighing right now. And then I'll tell you reason why you shouldn't raise best for more than this. Because we have what we call growth and maintenance. So I'm close to the penthouse now. It will take me about five seconds to enter. So if you are watching this, use that five seconds to like this video. You know, when you like a video, a YouTube video, it helps with YouTube recommending that video to many more people. So here are the remaining broilers. There are about 300 of them. Something really terrible happened. When we got to the market, the Christmas market now, to sell broilers, you won't believe what happened. A whole lot of people raised broilers this year. Many people. In fact, the number of broilers that were in the market for sale we are way bigger than the customers who came to market to buy them. To the extent that if something might have happened, let's say government said do give away, dash each person broiler, you won't believe that the broilers that will still be left behind if everyone was just giving one broiler who came to the market. Broilers, a lot of broilers would have still been left behind because the, the broilers that hit the market for this Christmas <laughs> is way too bigger than the customers and you know the state of the country right now things are hard a lot of people we are not able to afford so that's why we have over 300 still left behind so these ones are just for the new year market and we know actually we are not going to be able to sell all of them all. so what we'll be doing once we just sell them live in the new year markets we we'll slaughter the rest and then take them to the frozen stores bring on this thing the wind scale for me already. Bring the wings here. So what I'll be doing now is to just pick one or two of them and wait to show you something. So this is the scale. I'll be turning it on. Remember, just see, it's reading zero. So if I add this, the weight will change. It will give me the weight for this. The next thing I'll do is just to substitute the weight of this by pressing the tap. So I've zeroed the weight right now. Wait. Okay, put the chicken. Actually, this best here are 40. It's going to be a whole lot of bad to do this. This best are 40. That was eight days today. Tomorrow, Thursday, we'll make them complete seven weeks. 
So what we are doing now is to check the weight. No. Look at this bed. This bed is weighing 3326. Okay, let's say 3320. Let's say 22 grams. That's approximately 3.3 kg. Bring it up. That's what this bed is weighing after seven weeks. Now, raising this bed, uh, this bed we are raised for complete six weeks. That's 42 days. Currently, today is their 48th day. That means tomorrow will complete their seventh week. On the 42nd day, this bears we are weighing 3.2 kg on the average. Now, I don't have strength to weigh up to 30 of them. You know, assuming what's left here is 300. To weigh them, I have to weigh about 10% of them. And 10% of 300 is 30. I'm not going to go deep into doing that. I just took one. One that looks more average to the size. Look at that one. And weighed it. In raising broilers, there is something we call growth and maintenance. From the first day, from the first week, the bears are a massive growth. But it takes them like six weeks. From the sixth week, it takes them six weeks for the growth rate to just like drop completely. And then they enter maintenance. In that period, anything you are giving these bears is actually going to maintain their body on the current weight they are. As in the weight that they attain on the sixth week. If that to add any weight, it will just be very, very small. So if you are the type of person, in fact, let's go to the computer so that I can explain this thing better to you. Okay, from the system, this is what I want to show you. This is just um, a broiler standard performance goal for about 1,000 broilers. This is an estimation for 1,000 broilers. Now, healthy broiler comes to the farm. Arrival weight normally is between 40 to 45 grams. It can be more than that, but if it's smaller, you can now start knowing <laughs> there might be problem at the end of the day. But the good thing is that a broiler has um, the first week is the best time to raise a broiler first and second week because in the first week the broilers can add over four to five times their arrival weight so see this first week here over here and at the end of a broiler coming into the farm with 40 to 45 grams on the relative at the end of first week achieves 185 grams do you know what this is it's like four times to five times the arrival weight and yet the broilers consume less and they achieve average daily gain of 20.4 grams daily. Now for 1000 broilers that this is for, they are consuming just 7 bags at the end of one week. 1000 broilers consuming 7 bags because it's week 1. Now week 2, the average weight the best are going to achieve, that standard, all things being equal, there was no problem in between is 474 grams and each of them is gaining daily 41.37 grams per day and look at how many bags of feed that 1000 broilers are going to be consuming on the second week 22 bags that's what i'm trying to show you is that the smaller the younger the broilers the less feed they consume and the more weight they add let's go down to the sixth week the weight that on the average that the best are expected to meet up is 2,793 2, grams that's equivalent to let's say 2.7 kg okay let's just approximate this nine and make it 2.8 kg at the end of the sixth week over here we get more than that because we place our broilers on a high protein diet that's we start with a starter feed we maintain that starter feed till the sixth week you get the point so this weight you are seeing over here is assuming that somewhere around here Somewhere, one day you are, you've estimated that these bears are over 1.9 grams, 1.9 kg. Yeah, you can now switch the feed to finisher. Let's just assume that somewhere along this fourth week to fifth week, the feed was switched to finisher. That's why the weight is not that massive because finisher feed comes with more calcium and the protein level comes down. But more protein means more, more, more meat, more, more weight, and um, possibly more meat. So. Our own over here, we raise them with starter feed, that high protein, and we maintain it to the sixth week. So this standard I'm seeing over here is equivalent to these people change the feed to finisher and raise it more. But on the sixth week, see what I want you to see. The best will be getting 2.8 kg 
and check their average day gain, daily gain. They are gaining 93.86 grams per day. And look at number of feed they are consuming. At the sixth week, they are consuming more feed. Now, if you train them for more than six weeks and you enter the seventh week, the average daily gain starts dropping. The weight that they gain daily, it will start dropping on a weekly basis. And the painful thing is that you'll be spending more money, giving them more feed. So as a farmer, profitability, you are going down. The best are now consuming your expected profit. You know, the profit, you've not really touched it. You just know it's going to. You are going to get it when you take this best to the market. But this best stay more than six weeks are now consuming part of that profit. And the more you keep raising them, the more their average daily gain is going down, down, down. So now this is what we call growth and maintenance. From the first week to the sixth week, the bears are more on the growth side. Broilers are more on the growth side. They add more weight and they consume less. But from the seventh week, the, bro the broilers have entered mainly maintenance. They consume more and they don't grow more. So they are just maintaining their weight. That's if you are still feeding them properly. So what am I trying to say? Raising broilers for more than six weeks is a total waste of resources is a total waste of time as a commercial farmer your main aim is for profit so you are losing money you are losing that profit because see this way the best after six weeks their appetite is growing larger but they are not gaining that weight it's broilers broilers the main goal for broilers is just weight they're not growing that weight and the painful part is that no matter how big it is it does not influence the value in the market you get the point. Now, some people are supposed to, yeah, some people can raise theirs more than seven weeks, more than six weeks. But the people who encourage to do so are subsistence farmers, people who are raising broilers behind their house so that they will eat it with their family and then sell the rest. People who are raising like five to ten broilers can afford to do this. But as a commercial farmer, you are raising a larger number of broilers, and this is what you are getting. At the end of sixth week, seventh week, the only thing the best will be now be achieving is they will be looking bigger in the site, but their weights will still remain the same or close to the same. Another thing that the best will achieve after raising them for more than six weeks is that their meat will be thicker. Another thing they will profit that you will achieve after raising them for six weeks is that the bone density will be stronger. But profit-wise, it's not advisable. Now, if you want to run a profitable poultry farming business, I encourage you to click the description of this video. You will see a link there click it sign up to my newsletter they will be sending you details on how to run a successful poultry farm these details most of them are going to come in the terms of figures because you are doing this for figure you are doing this to increase your figures if you are watching this video for the first time make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you have any question drop it in the comment section that's it for this video guys see you next time